All right. Good morning, good morning. Welcome. That's it. I hope you've had a lovely weekend. Time to get ready for that lovely Pilates flow. So grab your wet, grab your mat, and of course, grab your spirit. That's it. And we'll kick off with a nice little bit of Pilates. Just wait until everybody's got all their bits and bobs, and then we will start. But yeah. Time. 
posture. <laughs> Sit strong breath and three elbows touching. Good job. Two, two marvelous and one. Into a quartering arm. Inhale to prepare. Exhale to next. With eight, stretching out, draw them in. Good. Seven. Use that breath each time. A six. Tummies on tight. Control. And five. Excellent, guys. Keep working. Four. That's it. And three. Good. Step. For two. Marvelous and one. Last time. Are we ready? Let him go to prepare. Focus on that core. Let's lift. Eight. The core, of course, is our main focus each time we exercise. Good. The six. That control is so important. And five. Up and down we go. Yeah, good. 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 That's it. Working your way. And three. Breath really flowing. Good. Two. Keep on going. And one. Inhale and exhale. Arms touching that waist. Inhale here. Exhale to open back. Eight. And feel those weights really heavy in the hands. Good. That's it. Six. Bring that lovely little gentle stretch of the shoulders and five, six, keep on going. Four, four, that brilliant posture and three, good stuff. Two, marvelous and one. Lengthen out. Let's go. Eight and draw it back in. Good. Seven. Lengthen through those fingers. Push the shoulders away from the ears. Six. That's it. And five. That posture every time. Good. Sit good in the center and three. Breath really slowly. Good job. For two. Marvellous. And one. Inhale and exhale. Two. Well, okay, and then when you're ready, join me down on the mat. So we're going to work first of all into a Superman, okay? Which quite often I see people doing, and actually it's a lot harder than people realise, okay? So what we need to do for this is a nice corset position. So hands directly underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. Okay, so you don't want the hips or the shoulders to move in any way. And you really have to focus on that core. So you can just move the back, you can draw it up to those muscles to keep a lovely straight line. Okay? You then you need to send opposite arm and opposite leg. Once we've done that with that, then only then we can lift it. But again, be really mindful that those legs don't go higher than the bottom. And then that core is going to come engaged, okay? So then we're just going to gently slide the back to the position. It's all about the transition, about keeping it soft, and keeping it gentle, and that there should be no movement in that body, by the core engaging our core. So even up to prepare, and exhale to lift the thing, then we're feeling happy just to lift, but only if we are absolutely steady, okay? Otherwise, we're still going to be perfectly fine, okay? And draw it back in. Good, that's it. For six, gradually flowing. Thanks, guys. Let's see. 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 Let
stop. 10 more seconds, keep that focus on, keep that core control, okay? Engage. Make sure pelvic floor, tummy, all engaged at the same time. A few more seconds for three, for two, and one. Brilliant, guys. Sit back, stretch back. Honestly, well done. Fantastic, bang. Really good. Perfect line. I'm always after that perfect bang, you guys. You did it. Beautiful. Wow. Well done. Really nice. Now, last week we were doing some lovely up, yeah, yeah, down yeah, shots yeah, where we were yeah, bringing yeah, our hips yeah, up. Okay? Yeah, so last week we were in a full frame of that position and we were lifting yeah, up yeah, yeah, the yeah, skin. Yeah, okay? so which made yeah, us to really work those four muscles as well as we're getting a lovely little bit of hip work or hip hinge there as well. Yeah, yeah, this time yeah, we're going to come yeah, down yeah, onto those forearms. Oh, now I know you're just quite yeah, professional yeah, today. Yeah, so we're going to lift oh, up the inner circles. But then I want you to push up. I'm going to be a very yeah. small movement. Okay? But lift up through those hips and bring it back down with okay, the into position. So that hips coming in between the hands, that lengthen through the legs. Okay, and again, that lift. Think of this as a string or something drawing you up towards the sky through those hips, which will activate that core work. Okay, so we're not going for a minute on this one. <laughs> We'll try 30 seconds. Okay. Wait, I'm like, I'm, I'm wondering whether to do this. I'm doing it this morning. The one after this week. Oh, I bet you might cut it out. Let's just have a go and see what we think. Anyway, let's get on. 30 seconds on the truck. Let's do that to prepare. Exhale. Let's go. In that long line, then you can Bring it down, the other knee, and the other knee still touches. Then both knees lift. 
And again, we come down one knee lift, one knee lift, one knee in contact with the mat. Both knees lift. Keep that body line, that back really nice and strong. Work it away, rest on the toes, lengthening up through those legs. Lovely, nice. It's really soft, really gentle. There's nobody rushing or bolting those legs up. Good stuff. That's it. Join on up. One more for me. And then let's rest. Good job. And again, sit back, stretch back, take that little moment, have that little breather. <sighs> yeah. But yeah, it's interesting to play around with planks because I think sometimes people always ask me, what's harder? Is a full throw plank harder than a you know like forearm plank or whatever? And I don't honestly think there's really much difference. I think they've all got their challenges. Some work stronger in the arms, some work stronger in the shoulders, some more on the front of the legs, some more on the back of the legs. It really depends. And things like that can be on my uniform instantly. <laughs> right. Back, we're going to go now into our four point kneeling, our superman. And let's see now if the teeth abs a little bit and whether that body can still keep nice and straight, holding us that glass of water. Take a little break and then we'll crack on. So, in that four position, have it in nice and strong. Let's inhale to protect, exhale to lengthen, and then they will sit. Keep in that body as rigid as we can for seven. And again, that lovely gentle flow through the body. Lengthen out through those legs. Good. That's it. Or maybe just a length of if we wobbly control. Good. And fine. That's it. Thank you. Lovely control. Really nice and steady. That's it. Watch those transitions. Bubble. Six. Control. Two, three. Six, each time, good stuff. Good, two, one, inhale and exhale to release. Well done, keep it beautiful, silly. That's it, release down. We're now going to roll round into our swing plank position. I want you again to check, as always, that elbow directly beneath that shoulder, okay, which allows us distribute that weight through the arm nice and safely. That body line really nice and long, one leg directly stacked on top of the other, okay? And we need to maintain that straight body so the leg shouldn't be over there. They should be nice and straight. Let's bend that bottom leg, okay? Just towards our bottom, it's from 90, 90 degrees. Just bring that back leg back to me so we're still keeping that lovely straight body line. Then inhale to prepare, exhale to lift up through that bottom hip, up into our side plank. Let's inhale here and exhale to spread that knee. Inhale and exhale, opening that chest back. And as we did at the beginning, is our chest open. And so, what do you to think about that again here? For seven. That's it. Really stretching that, following that gait with the arm. Good. For five. And allowing us a lovely bit of the shoulder, almost mobility there. Yeah, but opening up that chest. Every time it's up, lift up those two, bring those hips more, push into that knee. Good, that's it. And three, a lovely softness going through that body. Good job. Two, marvelous. And one, inhale and exhale, gently release. Now, if you're on your mat, you might just want to swiftly roll onto the other side. Okay, so again, you've got that lovely strong body line. I'm going to turn around the other way. So that they can see me. Okay, so again, check that nice straight body that no body parts are still speaking out. Okay, that we're thinking about lengthening and building through that weight. Let's inhale to prepare, exhale to lift up, to lengthen that arm, to inhale here, to exhale to spread through that negative space and open that heart to the world. But that's it. Good stuff. Nice and gentle, nice and soft. For seven. Following that arm each time. Good control. That's it. And six, think about lifting up through those things as much as we can, creating a lovely gap. Good. And five. Breath through your body line. Good job. That's it. Stretch back to some more. Good stuff. And three. Nice and soft and gently. Good. Excellent. And two. And one. Inhale and exhale gently. 
Releasing down and then sitting round onto our bottom. Oh, well done. So we're going to work a little bit more into these six or C6 this week, okay? I want you to think about whichever option you're going through, okay? And then something like this, when you're pulling that head up towards the sky, again, keeping that wonderful back posture. That tummy's really cool, nice and big. You don't want it to go much, we need to keep it nice and flat, okay? So it's up to you. You might want those feet on the floor. Tilt them back through that pelvis to where you can feel that tummy working. And then we're just going to lengthen the arms. So think about arm um, placement. And the rib faces. So we don't want to go up so far that those ribs then open and our core is not controlled. Just a little way. Okay, so if we're up for the challenge, we're going to lift those legs up into balance. And again, those arms are going to come up and down, just challenging our sense of gravity. That so choose an option where you feel happy. Let's inhale to prepare. Exhale to come up into position. So we'll bring that tummy in. Inhale here. Exhale to lift. And release. Good. Seven. Tummy nice and in. Good. Six. That's it. You're going. Good job. And five. Keeping those ribs locked out. Good job. The fourth. That's it. Pull that tummy in. And breathe. Every movement, every breath. Good. And two. And one four and one. Inhale and exhale to release. Bring it down to the and breathe. Good job. Well done. Next up, a little upper body rotation. Okay. So again, whether we're down on the floor, we're gonna have one foot above the other, back to where feel that core work, and we're just gonna rotate through. Okay, just bring your legs up please. you've got a nice bend, that big nose coming in. Let's inhale to repair, exhale to work. That eight. And back to the centre. Good. Seven. A lovely little twist. We might want those legs up. Six. Working your way. Well done. And five. That's it. An option for everybody. Good. And four. Push those shoulders away from the heels and then through the neck. And three. Draw in nice and tight. Two. Jaw. And one. Inhale. Exhale. Ooh. Up we come. Excellent. Well done. Next up. Okay, we're going to lengthen through the legs. So all of this is really preparation for the full teaser, okay, which is quite hard. <laughs> we're not going to do that today. We're going to lengthen one leg. We're going to lengthen, sorry, excuse me. I thought that's my throat. <laughs> right. We're going to lengthen through one leg. Bring it down. We're going to lengthen through the other. And then if we're feeling in Cassie, we're going to lengthen both legs, okay? That is hard. So don't feel like you're going to have to do it. <coughs> okay. But again, think of that core, think of that posture. Let's think how to prepare. Exhale to come back. That's it. Let's lift a single leg and back to centre. A single leg and back to centre. We're feeling happy. Push your legs and back to centre. And again, repeat that single foot. Single, control that tummy, lengthen through the legs, lengthen the legs up. Or well, you might want to be in that hopper. A lengthen, a back to centre, a lengthen, a back to centre, both legs lengthen. One more thing, guys. A lengthen, two, a lengthen, two, excellent, and two, keep the breath moving, and release. <laughs> We're going to bring those hands behind us now. Okay, we want those elbows facing yeah. backwards. We're going to work into a little bit of that dips. So, of course, with everything from our space, we don't want to get the core, okay? So, you don't want to be our arms are focused and the core is loose. So, we need to be drawing in, locking it on as if we're in that plank itself, okay? So, those legs up nice and deep, firm in your floor. Let's inhale to prepare. Exhale to come back for eight. And push it up. Use the breath. Inhale and exhale to lengthen away. Good. That's it. And six. Trying to get that forearm down to the mat. And five. Being those four muscles really working for us. Four. That's it. Soft and gentle through the body. For three. Lengthening up through that crown of the head. For two. Good job. And one. Inhale and exhale. Just Ooh, well done. It's mainly as well, isn't it? The arm exercise actually probably more of a core exercise. If we're doing it correctly, the arms are almost then second thing. Let's go back to our little tummy work, shall we? Let's inhale to prepare, exhale to come back, we'll sit those legs up, inhale here, arm lift, and that's it. Control, we might be there, perfect, fine. 
is on this one. The seven, I am much more wobbly, okay? I have to focus much more on pushing into that leg, lengthening up, and also on that core control, keep my body steady, okay? There is a wobble there. But I've got to control it by using my core strength. Rising and flowing now, go to the core, sit down, breathe down, turn from the three, pushing in, that means lengthening through that pod. Good job. Good two, marvelous. And one, inhale and exhale all the way up and then all the way down. Good job. We're now going to place that foot down on the floor. Okay, so keeping those legs in the same position. We're going to draw a part of our body, knocking down those ribs. So, what you can think about tiny little squeeze, we're going to reach towards those knees. Okay, we're either working the upper abs or working the lower one. So, think how to prepare. Exhale, let's squeeze. Eight, seven, good. Six. And five, we'll reach for four, for three, for two, and one. Again, we take seven, we'll in, six, and five, we'll squeeze for four, for three, good, two, and one. I'll say eight, seven, and six, six, and five, working the way forward, and three, six, seven, two, and one. Good job. Really sit down, take one leg back over the other, step in how to prepare, and down to the top again. That is a lovely dog control. Let's go. Eight, seven, good, six. And 
and five. Don't squish. So four, and three, and two, and one. Again. Seven. Good. Six and five. Don't squish. So four, and three. Good. Two and one. Now say eight, seven, six and five. Lift the legs to four. For three, good. Two and one. Bring the legs down. Second set. Let's make them eight. Squeeze them up again. Seven. Now we can stop. For six. That's it. And five. In that table top position every time. For four. The back of the head stay on the mat. For three. Good. Stuff for two. And lovely. And one. Leg, leg. The time to reach and pulse. Let's go. Eight. Seven. Six. And five. Let's squeeze. For four. For three. Good. Two. And one again, eight, seven, good, six, and five, for four, for three, good, two, and one. Last eight, eight, seven, six, and five. Little squeezes for four, for three, good, two, and one. Length the legs into scissors. Draw the leg down for me. Let's inhale to prepare, exhale to change for eight. Lengthen that leg away each time, and seven. That's it, lovely scissors, guys. For six. That's it again, legs and through those legs as much as we can. And five, that's it, working your way through the job. The full breath really flowing. For three, keep on going. For two, excellent. And one, inhale and exhale to release. Have that little hug in. Have that little moment. Well done. And breathe. Good job. Again, just rolling the shoulders, lifting you through the neck as we come up into our second set of scissors. So let's inhale, let's exhale, lengthen those legs, growing that tummy in nice and tight. Inhale into here, exhale into exchange for eight. And again, push the shoulders away from the ears. For seven, you might want to bring that head down for five to six. As long as we're gentle to the body, and five, that's it, a lovely fluid motion. For four, good work. And three, excellent, keep on going for two, Good job, and one. Inhale and exhale. That little hug in, that little moment, and breathe. Good job. We're going to come up into leg taps now. We're going to do three sets of the leg taps. So inhale to prepare. Exhale to come up into our tabletop position. So it's legs straight over our hips, okay? Keeping that angle in the leg as we gently tap it down into that imaginary ball of water. Let's tap for eight. And again, head up or down, it's up to you for seven. Okay, just keeping them over those hips for six. That's it. And five, keep in that table composition all the time. Really feel those lower abdominals working. And three, that's it. Good job. For two, wonderful. And one. And again, let's go. Eight, that little tap down, control that tummy. Seven, pulling in all the time. Six, back into table top every time. And five, it makes us work those abdominals even harder. For four, that lovely work through the hips. For three, good stuff. For two, marvellous. And one, third set, straight away. Let's go. Eight, keep that angle in the leg. Seven, back into table top each time. For six, good job. And five, working your way nice and gently. For four, that's it. And three. Good stuff. Inhale. Two. Excellent. And one. Inhale and exhale. Have that hugging. Have that breather. And really excellent. Well done. Have a little roll of that back into the mat if you need to. Have a stretch out and lengthen whatever feels right for you. Okay, next up, our last core exercise. It's going to be the double leg extension. Okay, so we're going to have our legs up in that tabletop position. They're going to lengthen the arms and legs of the legs away for a beautiful circle. Again, maintaining that rib crunch. We don't want to go too far that those ribs are going to open. We also want to maintain that back into the mat. And if you do feel any discomfort, then guys, okay, in your back, or if your back starts to come up or it feels too strong, just go back to those leg taps that we were last doing. Okay, so. We're only going to do eight, but keep it lovely and soft. Let's inhale to prepare, exhale to come up into position, inhale here, exhale to extend. But eight, and almost little hold at the bottom. And seven, again, head up, head down, whatever works for you, whatever feels right. For six, that's it, lengthening those legs out every time. And five, remembering those rib closures, don't let them flare open. Six, four, to keep that really strong core control. And three, breath, 
seven, three, four, good job. Two, wonderful, and one. Inhale and exhale to release. Again, that little hug in, that little moment, and three, good job. Let's roll round now onto our side line position. And where we began, okay, at the beginning of the class, with those legs, remember in balance, sometimes like five minutes ago. Time flies when you have to punch. That's it. What we're going to do. Right. What we're going to do is lengthen them through the legs, pitch up through the waist, pull that leg out, that pointed foot up, that flex foot down. Okay, we're going to have the hand there for support. Take it away, it's even hard. Let's inhale to prepare, exhale to lift up and to work. Eight, that's it, and seven, squeezing down each time for six, that's it, and five, excellent guys, for four, that's it, and three, thinking of inner thigh each time for two, just bring your head and neck down so it's all in line, and one, and again, let's go, eight, that's it, and seven, focus on the core for six, that's it, and five, lovely, squeezing every time for four, that's it, and three, breath really flowing for two, Keep on going, and one, last eight, let's lift, eight, that's it, and seven, changing that foot position each time, that's six, breath really flowing, and five, remember that point and flex, good, good, four, that's it, and three, squeezing together, for two, lovely, and one, inhale, and exhale, two, release, marvellous, you might just want to roll onto the other side, I need to roll around, all the way around, you've been playing this. That's it, but lengthen through that body, push through the legs, lift up in the waist to slightly activate those side abdominals, drawing in the front. Push through the leg, the point and the flex. Let's inhale to prepare, exhale to work. For eight, that's it. And seven, draw that leg down each time. For six, that lower middle squeeze. And five, excellent guys. For four, that's it. And three, a lovely fluidity. For two, good job. And one. And again, let's go. Eight. Army pump, seven, that's it, breath flowing for six, good job, and five, changing those feet for four, that's it, and three, breath really moving for two, good job, and one, last thing, come on, eight, change those feet each time, seven, squeeze it down for me, for six, feel those inner thighs working, and five, excellent guys, for four, focus on the core, and three, good stuff for two, Marvellous, and one, <laughs> and ready. Good job. Let's roll around on the far front and finish off with our back extension. So those arms in a lovely W for me, okay? Relaxing the body, relaxing the bottoms, and relaxing the legs. Then larger body up, and they want to take over. But we need to be able to deactivate them and activate the muscles that we need to be thinking and working at, okay? So we're looking at these little back muscles that are just, just roughly sort of higher than middle, okay, to support our core the whole way round. We also need to ensure that the tummy and the pelvic floor are locked on strong, okay? So let's get those locked on, maintain those bottoms so nice and relaxed. The movement comes from the base of the spine. Let's inhale to prepare and exhale to lengthen the for eight. The neck and the back working as one, okay? The neck doesn't work independently, okay? That movement, as if we've got a broom handle from the base of the spine all the way to the top of the head. Gently rising and flowing with the breath. Inhale and exhale. That neck and back as one. Good. Coming nice and on strong. Good five. That's it. And release it down. Good job. Keep those arms beautifully soft in the mat for me. Don't let them rise off. Good job. For three. That's it. Soft and gentle through the body. For two. Good stuff. And one. Inhale and exhale. Gently rise. Gently release. Let's sit back, stretch back into our child pose. Okay, just allow that back to roll and to go. And I really want you just to think about your own practice. Were you able to maintain that core control? Or did you maybe completely forget about that and just focus on the back muscles? Okay, it's a hard one because you do have to focus on so many body parts at the same time. So it takes a while to activate and deactivate as well. Let's go back down for our second step. Again, relax the body, relax the mind, relax the breath, okay? So make sure those bottoms and legs are completely relaxed. I like to give my little wiggle to make sure they're completely gone. Drawing the abdominals, draw up the pelvic floor. And again, that lengthen through the crown of the head. Let's inhale to prepare, exhale to rise up. 
Barnet's a mess. See you later. Take care. Bye.